Hello everyone, it's Al here from Exploring with Al. On Guru's very kindly let me share my channel on his channel. Um, what I do is explore mines and do lots of metal detecting as well, which I'm out now looking for a place to detect. Down there is where I'm going to give it a go. Um, please check out my channel, there's a little video at the end of this for you guys to watch. And if you do like it, please uh, subscribe to it. There's lots and lots of good videos coming up. All the best to you all. Check out the sunset. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I'd love to climb that. That's quite high. But here we go. Have a look at that. Isn't it beautiful? We're heading down there somewhere. So we're off down there. Can you see that? Down there we're going. Let's go see what's down there. How deep do you reckon this is? Probably about a hundred feet to the very bottom, but um, it leads into an old level which is called number one. All the adits down this hillside are numbered one through five from the top and we got into number one down here. Right. But all these workings down here were opened in the 1620s for silver. Uh, these are called Sheldon's workings and they're opened by the Society of Mines Royal run by Queen Elizabeth I. Wow that is amazing isn't it? Yeah. That is pretty cool. Still here. And still here yeah. Shall we go inside it then? So the one that we're going to go into actually was driven to get underneath all of this. So number three is the one we're going into and we dug this open about two weeks ago and it gets underneath. We're going to be standing about 200 feet below all of this. Wow, down there somewhere. Down there. And it comes in wham right under all of this. Let's go and check it out. And we just dug it open. I see now. So we've got an addit there. Number one addit. But check this out, check the stonework. Is this an old track or something? Wow, look at the stonework. We're going into number three. All the way down there. But we're going to be standing. See, there's a big crater just down here. That's yes. Davis's shaft. And Davis's shaft connects with number three. So we'll be standing at the bottom of that, which is blocked. The clouds are touching the mountains. Look. Oh, wow, yeah. It's incredible it. to imagine steam trains coming all the way at the bottom here, though, isn't it? It's all incredible. Yeah. We came down from up there, and we're going down just here. This is what the guys unblocked. Let's get a bit closer. All of this was collapsed until about a month ago, less than a month ago, um, and three of us came here and actually dug this out and it opened again for the first time in about a hundred years. All of this spoil is the stuff we dug through. That's a hell of an amount of rock and soil and whatnot. A lot of stuff. And it's if tons you look of at it. the entrance there that we reopened, you can actually see the original timber braces in the foreground here that yeah. formed the roof. Got a and bit then, of a crawl in, have we? Yeah. But the great part was prodding about with the iron bar on the first day and all of a sudden it went pop and we knew we were in there. Yeah. <laughs> Look how unstable all that looks above. Yeah, it's all, it's all damaged rock belonging to the load. It's good. Be a bit careful of the walls because it does... It does too much. No, it looks like it's going to crumble, doesn't it? Yeah. Very unstable rock this is. Look at it. It's actually not... In we go. Tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. Next. You okay? Yeah, I'm in. Really interesting here. The first thing spotted when it came in, this is the original ancient level coming through here. The entrance was around the corner, and this is the original level coming in and going off again to the other side. We've been down that. No, it's too too wet. Wow. 
Another level there, look. Yep. So that's the original one crossing over and going off that way. Right. And this has been enlarged. And see, we're following the vein already. There's quartz in the roof of an iron. Oh yeah. oh yeah, here we go, all the way along here. It has been widened, so you can see there's a few shot holes about the place. But this gets and turns into the narrowest adit I have ever seen anywhere in Wales. And it's 18 inches wide by the end. Wow. Which is proper small. Yeah. Like children mining it or something. Yeah, basically you've been lying flat, flat on your stomach, chiveling away. Wow. And here's one of the first rides. Here's up into the workings as well. Something. Bit of old timber, yeah? Yep. And that's Davis' shaft that we passed on the way down. It's just down at the end of that level there. It's all collapsed. I'm going to have a quick look. Yeah, of course. Because it's old timber. Wow. You can see it's all coffee. It's all white and coffee level, isn't it? Check it out. So we passed this shaft on the way down the hill. And as you can see, it's collapsed into the tunnel, which is a shame because it probably carried on down through there. Well, I can see some dynamite fumes there. Not quite. It's, it's, not it's, actually, it's actually fused for naked gunpowder. Oh, is it? And, and the reason you can tell is because if you look underneath it, there's a little wooden pricker, a little wooden needle. And that was used to poke a hole in the oh, rags yeah, that were them. chopped up in the shot hole to insert the fuse into the charge. Wow, that's pretty neat. Pretty neat, isn't it? Yeah. That's a good find, that. Bit of a collapse, reckon it carried on down there. What I think that is, is an old prospect shaft. Right. Um, that could have been pumped with a hand pump, because there's a leather flap down here, which I think could have been part of a rag and chain pump. It's down here. Dead end of it. See. So there's a bit of a false floor on the right here, just be careful. Okay. Keep to the left. This don't look safe either. <laughs> I tell you, this is an eerie feeling in this mine. I don't normally get that, but in this one, I don't feel safe. Really? No. Not at all. So we can't actually get to them, but there's more workings going off up there. There's work right underneath the top of a hill now. We we surely we can get up there somehow. Look at the rocks on top of that timber. Wow. This is where it gets really dodgy up here, so if you don't want to come right to the end, you don't have to. So now it starts getting dodgy. It's proper narrow now, isn't it? Yeah. And it's timbered all the way along up here. There we go. So whatever you do, don't touch the roof. No, because the roof will collapse. Exactly. Holy shit, look at that. Check and, that. And out. this is what I meant by 18 inch wide levels. Look at this up here where I am. That's very narrow, isn't it? That is seriously dangerous. And I'm actually on the floor. So it's one, two, three. About uh, four foot high at most. Four foot high, 18 inches wide. Your one's just pointing out that the air down here is not very good. So we won't be in here for long. This is getting really narrow now. That's tight. And then, and then there's even more dodgy timbers here. There he goes. A tight squeeze. Don't touch them timbers. Oh, 
I'm not going no further. I don't feel safe in this one. I'm going to wait for him to come back. Just waiting for Johan to come back. Um, it's getting too narrow to carry on. Johan's got a little bit stuck by the looks of it. There he is stuck there. Look at that. Yeah. Well, he got himself. God, that is small. You got yourself out of it though. That was tight. That was proper tight. <laughs> That's about 14 or 15 inches wide. Wow, this is difficult going backwards. <laughs> when can I turn around? Bad. It's collapsed there. There they are on the floor. That would hurt if they landed on you. That one's going to go soon. Let's just get out of here, I think. We are slowly heading out, very slowly. Bit of a collapse there, we came over earlier on. It goes up quite a height. Another dodgy bit coming up. Look at all the dodgy timbers, holding all the rocks up. Tons of rocks on top of it all. One day it'll all go. Cool to see though, isn't it? How they worked. How they did things. Got a lot of water piling in. From up there. There's a shaft up there, that's about it. We're gonna head down there. Look how tight that is. My turn to go through the crawl. Here we go. That's a bit tight. That's uncomfortable. Glad I'm out of that. So I just got through that squeeze. There's a dead end there. Lovely colours on the wall though. That's our way out. It'd be interesting to see what's down there, but I ain't squeezing through that gap. No chance. A bit of copper in the ceiling there, look. Very tiny amount. There's a lot of quartz running through this mine. Some weird colours in the rock. It's very weak as you can see, look at it all crumbling. Extremely, extremely dangerous. Got a stole there, loads of rocks on top of it. Timber's completely rotten. Getting the uh, measurements of the length of the mine and uh, making a map for his next book. That way it doesn't go very far. And then uh, that's our way out. Down there. Then we got the collapse or whatever it is there. And you can see here where they had the candle, the scorch mark on the rock. But we haven't found any tallow candles in this place. Because we think it's been flooded to the ceiling. And it looks like it has. And they've all probably washed off. I would guess. Can't see any around here. So if you look here, you can see how high the water has been. To the ceiling. So we've got a tunnel down there, we didn't bother going. We've got to crawl through the water. So there's our way out. Very dangerous. And we've got another tunnel down there. There's another tunnel there. Now this is the dodgy bit, the dodgy entrance. 
and exit. Look at the colours in the sky, isn't that amazing? Nice thing to come out of the mine too. Look how the fog is. Oh, we got out of this. That bit is proper dangerous. <laughs> Got to stable the, the rocks out. We're just waiting for Johan to come out now. Um, hell of an explore. Lovely cool mine. Come out to a beautiful sunset. Look at that. Uh, hope you like the video. Please like, subscribe and share my channel. Um, and keep an eye out for the next one. Thanks for watching. Another look at the sunset. And all the best.